everyone! So today we're going to be talking about ant nutrition and what to feed your ant colony. So, ant nutrition is actually pretty complex, but today I'll be simplifying it down for you. Essentially, ant workers, like the adults, they only need their sugar source. And that's because they don't grow anymore, and proteins for ants are still growing. Now, the ones that do need the protein are the brood, like the larvae. And they eat like pro they'll take proteins because so they can continue growing. However, once they reach the adult stage, ants actually stop growing. Like um, as soon as they eat close from their cocoons from the pupae, then they don't grow anymore. So now that you know the basics of the ant nutrition, that they need a, a protein source as well as a sugar source, let's talk about the specifics. Now for sugar source, I usually use honey, um, just regular honey, like the type you find at the supermarket is fine. Now the reason I use just pure honey is it doesn't go like stale or bad as fast as um, other foods that are sugary. For example, another option that many people use is sugar water, which is basically just sugar mixed with water. However, um, using this, like in a week or two, it'll just go bad and you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be unusable. Now, for feeding colonies in a test tube, what I usually do is I take like a barbecue skewer and I just dip it into whatever uh, liquid I'm feeding and I just rub it around the test tube. Make sure not to feed too much when they're in a test tube so they consume all of it because it is a pain to clean it up. Now, once your colony is big enough to live in a form of carrier with an outworld, then you can just use a plastic lid and fill it up. Now, for protein, my ants just love to eat spiders. Like, if I feed them any insect, they'll approach it with mild interest, take it back, but with spiders, they just go into a feeding frenzy. And um, with spiders, I usually feed them like half alive to the ants to provide more of a, like an act hunting response. And for younger colonies, I only take the spider legs. However, spiders are really hard to find and you can't keep them yourself, so most of the time I have to use crickets. Now, this isn't a problem when you have a small colony, but once you get a big colony, it's actually really hard to find enough insects to feed your colony. So, um, what I do is, I actually keep crickets, because I also have a leopard gecko, right? And if you don't have a leopard gecko, but you do have a really big ant colony, I would honestly recommend you to keep your own crickets as well, just as a backup of protein source. Now, how much protein you feed your ants depends on how much brood they have. Usually, um, what I'll do is I'll drop in a piece of protein, and if they take it in to, into their nest, then I'll drop in some more. And I keep doing that until they have no more interest, and that means they basically they have enough for their brood. When I'm catching insects from the wild, what I use is I just take a plastic bottle like this, and I just quickly like drop them into it, and then I put the lid back on. Something that's very important to remember is to never take any um, insects that you know or suspect have been sprayed with insecticides. So I only take uh, insects from my own garden, because I know there have been no insecticides sprayed there. So if you're sure somewhere doesn't use like insecticides, then you can take insects from there. And before I forget, something very useful for your ants is this liquid ant feeder, and it, it works for all liquid foods. And I will actually be making a guide on how to make one of these in the future, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Now, before I end this video, just remember that although you need um, a sugar source and a protein source, remember to add some variety to all this, you know, you can give them a piece of fruit for uh, sugar, and you can use a piece of egg for protein. Just remember to give them some variety so they don't get sick of whatever food source you're constantly providing. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. So as usual, you know, if you found this video helpful, if you liked it, then make sure you subscribe so you can be notified whenever I post new videos. And as always, your feedback is welcome in the comments below. Bye!